you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north, way north. More specifically, we are in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, and even more specifically than that, we are in front of Canada's Wonderland. Now, I think this is finally the point where I take my, my platinum pass for the Cedar Fair Parks and finally break even. I think this is the fourth park I've been to on my, my Cedar Fair Platinum Pass. I paid $250 for it and I've used it. This is the fourth park that I have visited. So I think when you factor in parking, I think I've finally uh, you made my pass made my pass worthwhile. And anyways, Canada's Wonderland is the first uh, major theme park built in Canada in 1981. And it is also Canada's largest theme park. And a lot of people had recommended this to me. So let's go check out Canada's Wonderland. Please follow me. Now initially, Canada's Wonderland was created as a third sister park to Kings Island and Kings Dominion and was supposed to have a Eiffel Tower when you enter like the other two parks, but they decided against it and set themselves apart by creating Wonder Mountain here in the front of Canada's Wonderland. You can see the Canadian maple leaf there in the front, the massive Wonder Mountain in the background. And here we have an advertisement for Halloween Haunt, their Halloween event that they have in the fall. And you can see these severed heads. I guess these are connected to various haunts. We have Carnival, the Crypt, Dia de la Muertos. There's Farmstead, you can see the giant rat head here. Streets of the Undead. Ooh, Vampire Disco, that sounds super fun. The Kingdom of Carnage, Wicked Hollow, and Pandemonium. I don't know, do you guys think I should maybe try to make a trip out here to see the uh, Halloween haunt at Canada's Wonderland? Some more heads, Ghostly Pines, the Corn Stalkers, and Trick or Treat. Oh, look at that spooky devil there. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some similarities with King's Island and King's Dominion here. Is this entrance walkway, you know, set up to look kind of like a European village. We are in Canada, so of course we have a ubiquitous Tim Hortons there, here on Main Street. You see Wonder Mountain up close here with those beautiful waterfalls. All right, heading into the medieval fair. It looks like it's a medieval portion of the park. Here we have this beautiful fountain here in the medieval fair and this giant castle-like structure. This is actually the Canterbury Theater. Looks like they're having a show here in just a little bit. We can check out. That was interesting. This fountain's actually pretty interesting. You have a knight slaying a dragon. You have some dwarves right there. Some dragons spewing out water. A little face here. And it says, drink ye not. So I guess drinking out of the fountain is a poor choice. Oh, it looks like over here, over the lagoon, we have a tightrope act. So I'm walking on that very thin cable there. Oh, that diving board there. That was pretty cool. What on earth does this thing do? Oh gosh. This, this is the Riptide. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
rotate there. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh yeah, they're upside down. That's no fun. Oh yeah. That looks pretty, pretty nauseating there. A the big nauseating bench fly to the air. This here is called the Spinovator, I guess for its innovations in spinning people. Horses of visiting American, you can always get a little bit of culture shock. They call the restrooms the washroom. Interesting. I don't know, you don't really wash in there. I guess you do. I guess you do. You, you wash your hands. And actually, you do wash your hands. You know, you don't really rest in a restroom unless you take a nap on the toilet. And that's kind of strange, taking a nap on a, on a toilet. So, you know what? I, I'd say the Canadians, Canadians got this one right. So we walk through the medieval fair there. We have an Arcadium. I wonder if an Arcadium is anything like an arcade. Yes, an Arcadium is an arcade. And they have, um, they have claw machines. But you know what, this is a different looking claw machine. There's only two pinchers right there. This is the Sega UFO catcher. So I guess uh, we could uh, give it a try, see what a claw machine's like when it just has two pinchers. Probably not very good because they can't even pick anything up when they have three pinchers. Or we can move, move the UFO there. I guess we could try to pick up this porgy little penguin back there. Hit the button. And there we go. Oh, did I get it? No. No, those are even weaker than American claws. Oh, I knew I knew it wouldn't happen. It's only got it's only got two fingers. So drowned our sorrows here with a game of giant space invaders. I used to actually play this on Atari. Oh no. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a big cannon here. This is different. They don't move in the same patterns. So what's B stand for? Does that stand for bomb? Is the bomb good or bad? All right. It's a game called Ticket Man, where I guess you just win these coins that uh, contain certain amounts of tickets. Interesting though, the character of Ticket Man looks to be based after Superman, except he has a giant ticket. It's right here known as Wild Night Mares. So that's a clever play on words. Okay, so this is a interesting ride. I've never never seen anything like this before. So I guess it's going to spin them in a circle. They're all in like a standing position in a little cage. And okay, this is almost like a Gravitron. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Oh, it's going up and tilting. So it's almost like a giant rodeo type ride. Oh my gosh. From the screams, Sounds like it is fairly terrifying. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's called a rodeo or a roundup. Oh my gosh, look at the angle here, how high it's going at. Oh my gosh, is it gonna go like a full 90 degrees? That's just about, just about that. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is like a, Hey, I don't even know what. It's like a high-powered Ferris wheel where you're standing up and being rotated sideways. Really weird ride, but uh, yeah, it sounds terrifying. There, you can see it from a different angle. That thing, that thing is pretty nuts, I think. And you're standing up in those capsules. Okay, I was actually wondering about this. Here is a refresh center. I bought the... Uh, Cedar Fair drink pass that uh, allows me to get a drink every 15 minutes while in the Cedar Fair parks. I spent $35 on that, so I wanted to make sure to get my money's worth and get uh, get drinks while I'm here. It's interesting they're actually spraying a wall of water in front of the drink machine that may actually be to keep bees away. We've seen uh, bees in a lot of these other uh, theme parks, but let's see what, what drinks do they have here? Any that are unique to Canada? Oh, they have 
Fruitopia. Remember they used to have Fruitopia in the United States. I don't think they have it anymore. So let's go for let's go for some Fruitopia. Yeah, I remember in the 90s they used to sell Fruitopia in the United States. I don't know if you can get it anywhere in the United States. If you can, leave a comment in the comment section. But it's been since the 90s that I've had this. Ooh, very sweet. Has a unique does have a unique flavor to it. Mm. There's a strawberry flavor, but yeah, it's different than Fanta. Almost has, I'd say, has, has almost like a, it's almost like a Kool-Aid taste to it. So I would say it's kind of like a carbonated Kool-Aid, if that makes sense. Looks like their drop tower is called Drop Tower. Oh, there they go. All the way to the top there. All right, how long are they gonna? How long are they gonna make them wait? Because that's, I think, the worst part. I think that's the part that scares me most about drop towers: is the uncertainty of not knowing. Oh, there we go. Not too long. See the Leviathan there. I think that is the big blue coaster we saw outside of the park. See them departing the Leviathan there. And then they'll climb the hill and that will take them basically all the way across the park there. Oh, check this out. In the the go karts there, they actually wear helmets. Yeah, that's that's one thing to be a little different. I don't think in America they would ever ask someone to wear a helmet. You know, we're just a little different in that one way. We have the Jester's Courtyard here. It's a toy and souvenir marketplace. But I noticed these interesting creatures here, little devil-like creatures. This is the, the behemoth right there. Scary little guy. I oh, was not expecting to see him here. We have the Incredible Hulk. Not only do we have the, the Hulk, the Marvel character, we have some DC characters as well. Superman and Wonder Woman. Then uh, Batman and Spider-Man right next to each other there. Got some Funko Pops here. A lot of Star Wars Funko Pops. Oh, look at this. Supreme Leader Snoke. That was probably the, the one part of the, of the new trilogy that, man, that, I just, yeah, I didn't like that part. I thought that was a, was a waste. But just, that, that's my opinion. Supreme Leader Snoke, what was what was up with him? This here is the shockwave. I'm betting this is about to do some horrible things to these people here. See them being lifted in the air by that giant scary mechanical arm with uncertainty on what exactly it is going to perpetrate upon them. I'm guessing for some sort of twirling. Okay, yeah, there goes the twirling. Oh, the whole arm's twirling. Oh man, you can hear those screams. Oh gosh, that's that's disgusting. Ah, oh, twisting in the wind there. Ah, oh. you can hear him just yelling and groaning in pain. Oh my gosh, how come no one looks like they're actually having fun? Okay, I've seen a variation. This ride known as the Corn Popper. Kind of throws you off to the side a little bit. Nowhere near as scary as that last thing we saw. This is the Clockwork. You can see how they pop out to the side there. I've seen a different version of this called the Corn Popper. Very circular bumper car track. Although it looks like there's a big, a big jam right there. Oh, are they getting, okay. Getting unjammed. There we go. Now traffic, uh, Traffic can resume as normal. Now it looks like there's actual 
multiple roller coasters that intersect through Wonder Mountain. There goes, yep, there goes the train right there. Here's the other uh, coaster that goes inside of Wonder Mountain. Now upon further examination, it appears that there are three roller coasters that intertwine with Wonder Mountain. And this one is probably the most unusual, known as Wonder Mountain's Guardian. Yeah, you can see there, actually guns mounted to the roller coaster car. It's actually a combined shooting game where you shoot at screens and a roller coaster. So, really fascinating. I'd love to take you guys on this so we could take a look at it. But again, they, they do not allow filming on uh, the roller coasters. Come back over here to the waterfalls on Wonder Mountain. Kind of, there's gonna be some cliff diving here in a moment. Gonna do it backwards. Oh, there he goes. Wait, he's doing a headstand. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. It's time to grab another beverage. Canadian Fanta is a little different. We'll give this a try. Definitely, yeah. It has a different flavor in it. I know when you get it in the bottles, it says it has actual orange juice in it. I don't know if this, when it comes out of the fountain, if it still has the actual juice in it, but it still, still tastes the same as the other Canadian Fanta, which is different than American Fanta. <laughs> the milk bottle game here, you can see the prizes are these giant balloon dogs. When I visited Valley Fair, I complained that they didn't have any poop hats like they have at Six Flags, but here, Canada's Wonderland, you can buy a poop hat in either regular or rainbow flavored. They have this wild mouse style coaster here. They actually call it the fly. Instead of, well, instead of mouse themed, it's actually insect themed. And here we are entering Planet Snoopy. Once again, remember, it is Snoopy's planet. We're all just living in it. Got some swan boats here in the pond. You can see there's a purpley swan there coming out of the dock. Oh, look at this. We have a series of very short trains along this track here. Here is Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. It's an interactive shooting dark ride by the Sally Corporation. See the very spooky exterior here. Some ghosts popping out of the haunted house. All right, and here we go. Use our gun here. Shoot some of these targets. There's. Lucifer, the king of ghosts. My spirit oh. 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 I'm trying, having a hard time getting some of these to activate. I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the other gun here. Oh there we go. That one's a little better. Alright, into the into the library. Look at the spooky skull there on the on the shelf. Hey, look at that guy here. The guy playing chess into the haunted kitchen there. The ghost coming out of the refrigerator. See so if we can get some stuff activated here on the haunted dinner. Oh, something's banging from the attic there. Passing by some mirrors. And uh, oh, the door's knocking there. Oh, there you go. Goes behind the shield. Oh, look at he's really got a crazy skull face. You are trespassing. I'm trespassing? Oh, got the clock to spin. This is General Ghastly. We have some uh, other 
This is Mrs. Gasly here. Some other uh, family members here in the portrait. Oh, look at the guy playing the, the organ there. Is there something behind? Something behind that sheet? Something gonna jump out? Maybe not. Okay. We got some ghosts sleeping in their in their bed there. Whoa! Okay, they're gonna stay sleeping, I guess. All right, into the seance seance room here. Uh oh, I think we're momentarily detained here in the seance room. Uh oh, okay, here we go. And then into this, oh, they have scare tonic here. It's the big ghost. And oh, all these chemicals here overflowing. And there's Bucifer. Quick, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Defeated Bucifer. A flying whip ride here. See, so when they get to the end, they kind of whip around the corner. This is interesting. They have a spooky themed roller coaster with Snoopy, the Ghoster Coaster. And see there on the grave of I'll be right back. So like you enter the ride through this spooky house here. And of course, we have a great comedic graveyard here. We have the grave of Frankie Furter, Patio Dawes, Patio, like Patio Doors, Patty Whack, Polly Styrene. Tim Burr, like a tree falling over Tim Burr. I leaned over like you leaned over. And Chelsea Buns, I actually don't, I actually don't get that one. There's Jim Shoes, as in Jim, G-Y-M Shoes. Peter Patter, Peter Patter. Nick Knack, Cy Clops. Snoopy here doing his happy little uh, jazz dance there. Always such a mellow cartoon. They, you know, at the end, the peak of excitement, they, you know, dance to a little bit of jazz music. This is called the Whirly Birds. You can see they, I guess they spin like teacups. Looks like you see those kids going to town, spinning those. It looks like it slowly raises up in the air. I don't know how high it gets, but if you, if you dangle the little orb there, you're responsible for making it spin. Another twirling ride called the Pumpkin Patch. So you're dangling in these, these sky pumpkins here. Looks like some sort of flying car. Actually, it looks like you have to, to pump a lever to make your car fly. Well, that makes sense. It's the carousel there in the center of Planet Snoopy. Here we have Funway. It looks like it's a, a ride themed after the Toronto freeway. As I go through this pile up of cars here. Here comes a helicopter there on the roller coaster track. Gradually proceeding through the park. This hot air balloon is called Frequent Flyers, which I guess is accurate considering, you know, it goes for a flight every couple minutes. There's the Sugar Shack, a variation of the teacup ride. Looks like instead of a teacup, you're in a, in a tin can full of uh, sticky sugar. called the Flying Canoes here, almost like a Dumbo style ride, but with canoes. And you can see the uh, French Explorers there in the center. Pretty cool. Oh, and here behind us, we got a giant red maple leaf where we can celebrate the great nation of Canada. This ride here known simply as the Lumberjack. And look at this, the Lumberjack ride is just two 
giant axes with humans, <laughs> with humans strapped to the head of two giant axes. Oh my gosh. It's like a Paul Bunyan-like experience. I don't know, do they have Paul Bunyan in Canada? I guess he's more of an American thing, but oh, there they go. Oh, 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 oh. yes, this is what it's like to be strapped to a giant ax that is chopping down a giant tree. Oh, there they go. Cross the streams there. Oh my goodness. See the people there. Oh, they're almost close enough to high five each other. Oh, gee. Here is the soaring timbers. Let's see what this does. Of course, any ride to the big mechanical arm like that is probably up to no good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Just flipping and flopping them around. That looks grueling right there. Oh, my gosh. These giant evil robot arms. They're, they're taking over our country. And Canada, apparently. <laughs> Here we have something coming down the flume there. Oh no! Jeez, everyone run! Oh. Let's see, the people on the bridge got pretty wet. The people on the boat? Oh, are there no people on the boat? Okay. It's like the, looks like the people on the boat got pretty wet too. Pretty soggy. This big tall monstrosity here is known as the Yukon Striker. See them getting ready to go over the edge there. Look how steep that is. Oh no, it's ha it's dangling them. It's gonna hold them there for a second. Ah, oh, so cruel when they do that. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. A refreshment station there they don't actually have the uh, drink cups they have some soda machines in an incredibly moist environment you can see they're spraying the water down it's like they have a coasters drive-in here and I've seen coasters drive-in in other Cedar Fair parks but you know what I think I'm actually gonna grab some food this time enter here you can see they have a record player there on the ceiling all right we got a double cheeseburger there let's take a look at that now at the condiment station they had diced tomatoes put some tomatoes on there and this looks like like chopped up pickles i think so we'll put that on there as well and uh add a little ketchup here to the bun and there we have our canadian wonderland burger Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Have the uh, antique carousel here. Walk up and get a closer look at some of the horses they have here. called the sledge hammer here. We had the lumberjack earlier that was shaped like a giant ax. Guess it's a theme to have rides shaped like giant tools. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty, pretty terrifying. Interesting they would have the sledge hammer ride, the ride where you're attached to the bottom of the sledge hammer. I think it might be more terrifying to be attached to the top of a sledge hammer. Still pretty terrifying. Oh wait, I was wrong. This right here, this is the sledgehammer. This right here is called the cyclone, although it looks like a giant sledgehammer. Am I the only one seeing this? Maybe it was just the suggestion of the name made me feel that, that there was a giant sledgehammer. What do you guys think? Does that, should this be the sledgehammer? Maybe? And then this could be the cyclone? So wait a minute, wait a minute.
wait a minute. Oh my gosh. That's, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> that's pretty terrifying. But anyways, so this is the sledgehammer. And it spins like a cyclone. And the cyclone looks like a giant sledgehammer. Why do I feel like these rides, the names, should be reversed? It's, it's, it's really bothering me. Oh, there they go, again. What is happening? I've not seen a ride like this. This, it's a that's, that's something. This thing here is known as the Time Warp. You can see they're in like a Superman, oh, they just did a barrel roll in the uh, Superman position. Oh, there they are. Oh, that looks, that looks diabolically horrible. Oh my goodness. There's another terrifying dangling roller coaster. Oh, there they go. Oh, what happened? Oh, there they go. You know, I feel like I've seen this same roller coaster in a lot of parks recently. A massive globe there. And looks like we have flags from all different nations. All right, we'll go ahead and get one more drink on our drink pass. I'm not really sure why they have to completely fog the area with mist. All right, I'm gonna use the, the Coke Freestyle because it actually has a exclusive beverage here, the Purple Splash. If we can get it to... All right, there we go. There we go, Purple Splash. All right, we got the purple splash here. I'm really wet from going in that refreshment center. They, they, they shoot the mist. I think it's to keep the bees away, but I really just kind of got completely wet going in there. But anyways, the purple splash. Yeah, it kind of tastes like purple Kool-Aid. Yeah, purpley, very purpley. But very, very grape-like in, in, in a way. Come back out towards the entrance here. And the front fountain is illuminated at night. And you can see that Wonder Mountain along with the Victoria Falls in front is also illuminated. So thank you for joining me here tonight at Canada's Wonderland. And now I have put, I have four of the Cedar Fair parks that I've, that I've visited this season. I still have my pass. I may visit some more this fall. I'll leave some suggestions. Some of them do have um, Halloween events that I may be wanting to check out. So leave your suggestions in the comment section. I did want to, um, to uh, address that yes, when I am in the Cedar Fair parks, most of them do not allow you to film on the roller coasters. I get some comments in the comment section, why don't you ride the ro roller coasters? I would definitely ride the roller coasters if I was allowed. If you check back in videos where certain parks, they do allow filming with, with GoPros, as long as you do it in a safety ma safe manner, they, they will allow you to film on the rides. Um, here, they, they just don't. They just don't allow you to film. It's not my decision, and I'm not planning on trying to break any rules. So therefore, if the rule is you cannot film on the roller coasters in the park, then I will not be filming on the roller coasters in the park. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when a new video comes out. I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Have a brand new, no scares on stairs, pin just in time for Halloween. And all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. Yo, I'm on YouTube, YouTube. It's it's your boy, boy, Jack, Jack up on here, here. and I'm back, back with another video. <laughs> <laughs>